columns with our VersaLock standard unit. You can easily do columns by simply splitting our block in half. So on the back of the block, there's a splitting groove, and we're going to mark, and we're going to split our block. From here, we kind of already did like a good cooking show, and we've got half units laid out. A good tip of the trade is once you've split the block, take and flip it upside down, separating out the lefts from the rights and making stacks of columns, left, right-hand sides and left-hand sides. Here you can see the difference between having the block right side up and upside down, where the grooves on the top of the block show. By flipping them upside down, it'll significantly hide those grooves. So guys, why don't you take and do the second course on top of here. So where the first course might have been our right-hand side, now the second course is gonna be the left-hand side of the retaining wall block. In between the courses, we're gonna simply take and put some VersaLock adhesive around the outside edge, making sure we're not spilling in where it's gonna show, and then stack up. If you really need to, you can hammer drill and pin a column together as well, but most people just simply glue it together. Third course, same as the first. The nice thing about VersaLock columns is that by splitting these halves, we made a 20 inch column where you only need a 24 inch column cap. Or you can size up, in this case, we introduced a full standard making a 36 inch column. You can go bigger than that or customize in between. A wide variety of attractive columns can be easily integrated into any wall design, even during construction, and no special units are needed. A 20 inch square column is created simply by splitting VersaLock standard units into half units and placing a half unit at each of the four corners of the column. For each succeeding course, shift the bond so half units being placed overlap the half units below. One simple way to do this is to split four VersaLock standard units at a time, flip over to hide the mold marks, place four right side half units first, and then, for the next course, place the four left side half units. VersaLock columns can be widened in four inch increments by placing split half units at the corners in combinations of whole standard units and saw cut half standard units between the split corners. VersaLock retaining wall columns less than four feet tall can be stacked without mortar, placed on a granular leveling pad, and do not require footings below frost. Generally, columns should have a minimum of one course of units buried or six inches buried below grade. VersaLock columns typically have a vertical face with no setback. Units placed in columns will not pin, so each course of units should be adhered to units below with VersaLock concrete adhesive. Do not use rigid adhesive or mortar for VersaLock columns on flexible granular pads, or they will shift slightly causing rigid adhesives to fail. VersaLock columns alone should not be relied on to support structural loads like fencing or arbors. Additional structural elements such as metal post or steel reinforced concrete within the VersaLock may be needed. Mm -hmm.